Wife, two, two, ages, lemon, wife, wife, lemons, lemons. If life gives you lemons, don't, don't, don't make lemonade. Give the lemons back. Don't take those lemons. I'm the guy who's gonna blow your house up with, oh, fuck, I'm getting sidetracked. I'll be back. Yes! Ha! Huh. That actually worked! This... This is good! This is really good! This is actually, like, really logical. I like it. My land. I can... Why won't he do it? Hmm. So obviously I'm on the right track. Okay. I think I need, like... Hmm. Maybe there's something else I'm mi missing. Let's see what I can find. Let's keep going this way. It's obvious that I'm missing something. Let's go back to this shed. Maybe I missed something in there. But obviously putting the lantern on the shovel was the smart thing to do. But it just clearly wasn't enough. There's something else that we need to do. So we're gonna find it. We're gonna have to find out what it is. Godalming Manor. How can I be of service? Hello. I am Professor Ernesto Slavakopit from the Agricultural University of New Hampstead, connected to the Center for Cheese Proficiency. Cheese I have Proficiency? Just and have been looking in London for a quiet new residence that is large enough to shelter my expansive research materials. Now your dwelling, or rather that of your employer, corresponds exactly with what I am looking for. Will you announce me so that he and I can discuss a potential offer? The master IT and he told me. He told you what? What? Your master. What did he tell you? Certainly to welcome visitors with politeness during his absence and allow them to wait in the lounge. Isn't that correct? <laughs> the master told me to crush the big flies that buzz about here and bother his sleep. Mm. He even told me I could eat him if I wanted to. Oh, that's interesting. Bother his sleep. Interesting. I must find a way to enter this location. Uh, hmm. I gotta get something to get I rid of those no flies. So let's go back into the cemetery because there's no other way for me to go right now. How do I get rid of those flies, though? Ugh, what stench. Okay. Items. I bet I could use this. Yes. Yes, I used the veil. Awesome. <laughs> A few trapped flies. Okay, so I have a few trapped flies. Uh, a lantern sitting on top of a shovel. Is it getting a little wacky to you, or is it just me? Okay, here's something I haven't thought of yet. We need to pry the door open, okay? There we go. That's what the iron bar is for. Is slightly ajar. I must now get the lantern through. And everything else makes sense now. That wasn't so bad. Perfect. I can read the inscription like that. Let's see. We've also defaced the cemetery. Hmm. I will recopy all of that. You're so diligent. The archangel guarding this tomb will not let in, but he whose art is pure and grief is genuine. If your despair makes him ululate, he will open this iron grate. But in order to move him, you must first sever the stone heart of the celestial engine right there. Up high to down low you will go. The blood of eyelids will flow. Let's first sever the stone of the celestial engine right there. Interesting. This poem seems to indicate how to enter the mausoleum. Hmm. Interesting. Rather sinister, this muzzle. Okay, so... Okay. 
rather sinister. That's so it's obviously something to do with the angels. The angels are a clue here. So we're gonna to try to figure this out. This finally worked. Ah. Okay. Okay, so let's... Oh, hang on. Documents. Miss first sever the stone heart of the celestial henchman right there. Up high to down low you will go. The blood and the eyelids will flow. Up high to down low you will glow. The blood of the eyelids will flow. So, Please clockwise... Find Okay, so let's see. Up high to down low. What happens? Hmm. Not quite sure I understand this. Oh, there's it's a clock. It is. It, it seems to be a clock of some sort. When the saint sacrifices himself to redeem our sins, the demons drink his blood and the pure cry on him. Huh. When the saint sacrifices himself to redeem our sins, the demons drink his blood and the pure cry on him. Okay. So, the demons drink. Right. And the saints cry. Okay. I think, right? I could be wrong. Huh. Okay, saints, saint, demon, demon. Demon, saint, demon, saint, demon, saint. Right? I think I did it. Yes. There. Perfect. That was pretty. That was pretty grim. That was kind of cool, though. Okay, I've got it. There's different mortal martyred angels on the maps. So. Let's go look at the Martyred Angels, because that was the first Martyred Angel. So, let's find the others. This is like an entire, like, very elaborate puzzle. This has got to be the next one, right? A hydraulic. Whoa. The demon is everywhere, in the eye of the spider, the serpent, the toad, and the wolves. Okay, so the eye of the spider, the toad, the serpent, and the wolves. All right, so mark all the wolves' eyes. Make sure all the wolves' eyes turn red. Is that all the wolves? All right. No, it is not that. Try again. Okay. Okay, eye of the spider. Is that not a wolf? Hang on. Maybe that wasn't a wolf right there. Maybe that's some other animal. Let's see. Useless. Okay. No. No, I... Uh, I've messed up somewhere. Okay, I have the spider, the spider, the toad, the serpent, and the wolves. In the eye of the spider, the serpent, the toad, and the wolves. No. I'm just gonna mark everybody. Why not? Click all the eyes. Click all the eyes. Why not? Useless. 
Okay. Now let's unclick the spider, the wolves, the toad. Unclick everybody else. No. Okay, that was dumb. That didn't work out at all. Okay, I'm missing something, obviously. Something uh, did not go right here. Okay. All right, the horse is still clicked. Okay. Okay. The spider. The serpent. The toad. Okay. The toad. And the wolves. This should be it. No. It what in the world is the problem? Useless. How is it useless? No, I cannot do that. Am I? What am I missing? No. Severer, serpent, toad, wolves. The wolves are the ones giving the problem because I don't think these are wolves. Useless. It's everywhere. In the eye of the spider, the serpent. Got the serpent, the toad, and the wolves. What am I missing up on? Okay, this one's a bit odd. So we're gonna try these. These wolves right here. Yes, that worked, okay. So you have to find the wolves that are a bit kind of like out of place. That's a bit odd. There. perfect. But we did it, all right, awesome. Now to the next martyred angel. These are really cool, actually. I enjoy them. Let's see what's down this path. Actually, we should go this way. We should go to this one, and then we'll come back down that one. Sorry! This is all very neat and interesting, and I, I like it a lot. Okay, there's nothing down this path. Because I've already been here. So we're going to go this way. Da, 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 da. Come on, I need more martyred angels. Okay, here we go. Here's one. And I think there's another one down the next this area. Finally worked. Only the pious and the pure have eternal salvation and nothing to fear. Alright, so we need the pious. Pious. And the pure. Okay. Can't click on him. Or any of the children, it seems. Okay. That's fine. This shouldn't be no, easy. It is not that. Oh! We have to mark whose heads we're gonna cut off. So, and then the ones that there there are ones that have demons behind them, with size. You have to pick which heads get cut off. That's quite fucking grim. I like that a lot, actually. That's pretty fucking messed up. Useless. No, I cannot do that. Okay, the Okay, who have I missed? Oh, this lady. It was beating her child. Oh, I love the noise, and the blood comes out of their necks. Oh, that's awesome. There. That's Perfect. messed up. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. That's quite twisted. Here we are. This should be the last one, I think. A hydraulic mechanism, I suppose. In receiving the sinners, St. Peter told each of them their... Purgatory. I can't read this. Hmm. I will recopy all of that. Thank you, sir. In receiving the sinners, St. Peter told each of them their punishment in purgatory. To the three of them whom the wrath was their sin, he announced a hundred years. He told the conceited sinner his fault was three times worse. The envious one of the gluttonous one each received their half of the previous four combined. They had it a part before the seventh arrived, the greedy miser, with clammy hands and shifty eyes. The saint told him two times the total of the wrathful men, plus twenty-five years of tears and pain. Okay, so three of them... 
So three of them have... So, let me see. Ah. Pen. Please work, Pen. I hate these pens. They only work when they want to. Okay. Three. Wrath. Equals a hundred. Conceited Sinner, his fault was three times worse. So, Conceited... Gets... 300. The envious one and the gluttonous one each received their half of the previous four combined. So, they each received... So, four... So, they each received 200. So, envious... And... Gluttonous... Received 200 each... And the the greedy one is two times the total of the wrathful men plus twenty five years of tears and pain. So six hundred plus two hundred equals eight hundred. Okay. So greed equals eight hundred. How many years accumulated does this course crew deserve to pass at the very depths of the cage? So a total would be. Four, okay, 800 plus 800, which is 1600, I believe. Yeah, so one, yeah. 300 plus 300 is 600, plus 400 is 1000, plus eight, no, 1800, I believe. I could be wrong. Guys, I just looked it up and I was right the first time. I just forgot to add the 25 years. Well, the first time when I said it was 1800, it's 1825. I just, I forgot to add the last thing. I was right the first time, the whole along. Never second guess yourself, kids. You never know when you might make a dumb mistake. There. And that's kind of disturbing. Now the mausoleum of the former watchman must be open. But we did it. We did it, and we can go into the crypt now. Holy crap. I feel really dumb. I feel really, really dumb. But let's go. Here we go. We made it. Awesomeness. I can't believe I was right the whole time. I was right oh. from the beginning. It is very cold in here. And what stench! This little room isn't often used. Doesn't seem to be, sir. Let's get this book. There, a book. It was thus this year that Lord Godalming sold this lot in order for the city to make a cemetery. This undertaking permitted him to kill two birds with one stone. On the one hand, he raised some funds in order to finance his secret and frivolous nightlife. But he also devised, thanks to this handover, a subterfuge to facilitate his adulterous escapades. Lord Godalmank had included a clause in the sale contract that permitted him to use a large concession in one part of the cemetery. Furthermore, the city was to fund the work that he would undertake in the concession, which everyone thought would consist of a vault for him and his family. But the crafted lord had other projects in mind. He secretly completed a subterranean passage from a false tomb to the basement of his manor. Once finished, this allowed him to come and go covertly right under the nose of his horrible wife, and, towards the end of his life, to avoid the harassment of his innumerable creditors. Although I wasn't given the opportunity to verify the truth of these facts, I accumulated testimonies from the laborers from the construction site, as well as the son of the city engineer who supervised this work. In order to find a secret passage, one must find the false tomb at a northeast angle, knowing that the cemetery's entrance is found at the south, it can be found between a tomb without a cover and a large gothic cross. Interesting. So. A tomb without a cover and a large gothic cross. Where would that be? There's a gothic cross. Let's keep going. Here it is. I am in need of something. I am in... What is it? What do you need of? This? I am in What what I I I don't understand. This is the tomb. This is the tomb. No it's it's fine. What is it that we need? I've got just about everything. I am in. Oh, I bet I need the iron pole. 
There we go. Logical. Logic. I like these puzzles. They're really good. The pillar. It is moving. I believe I have found it is the secret passage which Long told me about. Awesome. Now, let us throw ourselves into the mouth of the beast. Bah! This is exciting. Real quick, we're going to drop a save. In case things get bad. Alright, let's go in. This door is extremely solid. No chance of forcing it. Oh boy. We have another puzzle. Okay. This shouldn't be too difficult. Well, that was easy, actually. It was not bad. Not bad at all. Oh my, this is really grim. Hmm. This axe was used recently. On a person, obviously. 